Hey everybody, welcome to another Rant Time with Klaus. Now, I realize it's a bit early for me to do another Rant Time, but this is just an issue that if it would finally be abolished, I wouldn't be here having to talk about it. So, here I am. This is a continuation from my Rant Time. Yeah, you, know, you know, feminazism and double standards. Which is a huge fucking problem, okay? I don't care what, you, what anyone has to say. I don't care what anyone thinks. Society is being poisoned by these double standards because they get to continue to exist unchallenged. They, nobody is, hardly anybody is fucking talking about it. So, yeah, you're, okay. I figured I'd go deeper into detail about this and just go over some of the uh, societal double standards that are just completely stupid and completely fucking wrong and completely fuck, fucked up. Yeah, the word fuck is going to be tossed around like nobody's business. Like, you're going to be hearing a ton of F-bombs. Okay. So, okay. what you're seeing right here, and I, I, I feel like, I, I feel like PewDiePie, like, up here, up there in the corner. Not, except for, PewDiePie sucks. I don't care what anyone says, I, I just don't like PewDiePie. Or a lot much anymore. Okay, so right here, du 20 double standard society keeps tricking us into believing. I like to think we have a pretty positive with this whole human race experiment thing we're doing. Enter double standard to prove that the notion false. It's because as much as I think we're moving in the right direction, there's a lot of double standards around that prove we're stuck in the stone age most of the time. Which is actually true. Like, this is kind of adding what I'm, what I'm saying. It's like, double standards are indeed poisoning society. Okay, okay, we asked to illustrate the worst offenders and give money to the mass injuries. These winners below. Okay, ridiculous double standards that get to exist in our society. Let's take a look. Okay, any kind of sports event, like right here. You guys are crazy. Perfectly normal. Yeah, it's a, a huge sports event, but some of dress up like geeks. They're total weirdos. Why? Because they're cosplaying fictional characters. See, I, I see uh, a couple of Naruto's in there. Just um. Like, this is... Geekdom is being referred to as total weirdos, but if you dress crazy at a sporting event, that's normal. And I'm going to expect an explanation for all these double standards that get to exist. Why is it when we dress crazy at a sporting event, that's completely normal, but if we dress up as switch on characters, that they're being total weirdos? This is stupid. Okay, one that really cute. Photos of shirtless men are completely normal, and yet photos of women breastfeeding are censored, controversial, and often banned from social media. Okay, this is something I I don't I don't give a fuck what anyone says. This this needs to be addressed. Why is it okay? <clears throat> Why is it okay? For shirtless men. But. We have to censor so much. That women breastfeeding. This. This one. Ugh. I'm too pissed off at this one. Because. Like. Virtually. The nipples of man. Nipples of woman. Are essentially the same thing. You've seen one. You've seen the other. So. Why does one have to be censored. And not the other. Good. We're already, we're already two double standard centers in, and I'm already pissed off beyond belief. Like, we need, to see, we need to apply one standard for both sides, not one standard for one and another standard for the other. Oh, let's continue on.
Callus adult women burn the witch. This one is too dumb to even comment on. I mean, <clears throat> how? Okay, okay. Let me just question this one. How does showing a scene from prove a point? Like, no way. Unless you're trying to say it's normal for men to go child to to go without being a parent, but it's strange for women to not want to be a parent. I don't. I don't get it. Judy is a is a is for a PC boss who told her she you know, always say happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas to the customers. So what? That happy holidays? Well, get this: some people don't celebrate Christmas. Some people celebrate Hanukkah. Some people celebrate Kwanzaa. Plus, he's a diehard fan of the. And the game is tonight. Jelly doesn't think that the customers are with Go Get, knowing what, knowing that although most are fans, I get a Okay, okay, this one's just too dumb to comment on. I don't care about sports, so I'm not even gonna entertain that one. A a man who showcases skip skills. A woman is bossy, aggressive, and arrogant. Okay, another one I completely disagree with. Like, what, you saying men can't be, what, you saying men aren't capable of being bossy, women are? Okay, even those who declare themselves boss, okay, okay. us, men or women, they should be condemned. I thought a fucking second guess. Like, this is just. Pfft, it blows my mind just how these double standards just continue to exist. Like, say, you're in a, you're, say you're in a relationship of any kind. You can be a, a man and a woman, a woman and a woman, or a man and a man. It doesn't fucking care. I, I, I don't fucking care. It's like. The idea of a relationship is compromisation, not exerting power over the other. That's. That just blows my mind, just how that's okay. <laughs> like, especially... Especially... Mm, I mean, sorry, I just gotta adjust this cam, because it's, it's kind of hard to adjust in this... Yeah. Anyway, back on point. We're gonna focus more so on the, um... Man and woman relationship, because that's where the double standard plays in. Okay, if a man is being bossy, then he's being too controlling. If a woman is being bossy, then it's equal. Bullshit it isn't! How the fuck is it equal if one side is exerting power over the other? That's not fucking equality. Like, I don't give a fuck what you say, it's not. Oh my god, <laughs> Okay, I'm not okay with one person exerting power over the other. And okay, like okay, you, you could just okay, someone could go on saying, "Oh, I'm not being bossy. I'm a boss." Well, if that's the case, then by definition, you are indeed being bossy. Ugh. I'm gonna go over a few more double standards here before I just call this quits, because. Okay. This is Oh. He's able to file oh. is out with a kid. That's pedophilia. He's hanging with a random kid being good. 
X again. And I can just be tossed around. Okay. If that's the case, the woman should also be a file. Or the man should also be labeled good with kids. Okay, this one's too dumb to comment on. Keep saying, like, men hide stuff in their pockets, but women's pockets are empty. This is a feminist double set. Okay, th this has fem Nazism written all over it. What's next? Women get 77 cents for every dollar a man earns? <laughs> if I had a dime every time I heard that one, I'd be a fucking millionaire. Sorry, just going to just It's done yo at right if Philly. I watched him grow up from a little bull Society is like, ah oh, yeah, I'm gonna come suck this shit. Okay, again, condemn it for one, not the other. That's bullshit. That's that, that, no 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 no. That shouldn't be acceptable. Condemn for both, not one and not the other. Oh my god, this is the last. Okay, if you're straight, ding, ding, ding. that's that's cool. If you're gay, if you're bisexual, you have to pick one. Fuck, gay. What is wrong with bisexuals? Can you answer me with a straight face? What is wrong with bisexuality? Straight people are being condemned by feminazis. Gays are being condemned by religious it's extremists or activists or what the fuck ever. Now, bisexuals are being condemned? What the fuck? Ugh, you know... You know, I, I, I ignore what, 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 what the fuck this one is saying. Just do what you want with your own sexual orientation. It doesn't matter. It's because it seems you're going to be condemned either way. Like, no matter what you are, if you're, if you're heterosexual, if you're homosexual, or if you're bisexual, you're condemned. Like, no matter which way you go, just do what the fuck you want when it comes to your sexual orientation. Uh, and now we go into fictional territory. Action man! They're bloody. Dirty. And, okay, what the. Uh, it comes to action women hair, hard makeup, and purple clothes. Uh, fictional territory is just. Yeah, let's just bathe the men in blood. Let's just. Roll them out in dirt. This brews them up. But no, women have to be perfect at all times. So much that seems like some um, the same thing to because again, how is it okay to, for it to be one way and not the other way? Tell me. Can you answer me this with a straight face? Ugh. Okay. I just need to just calm my nerves right now because I don't know if I can go any further right now without totally losing my mind, without going insane. You get the point. And before anyone gets on, and before anybody at all just going saying, oh, it's, it's not that I'm talking about, you're blown out of proportion, I fucking just, just shut up right there before you say it. I fucking hate that dumb mentality, hate the bullshit you're trying to peddle right now. 
from inner fucking assholes that you regurgitate this. That regurgitate this. I, I, I can't, I'm so pissed off, I can't even talk right. Just. All, all the dumb bullshit that we regurgitated off the internet from people saying a prayer to you. I, I assure you, you're not a special snowflake for saying such bullshit. And before anyone, say, before anyone says that, society is being poisoned by double standards. Don't sit there fucking kidding yourselves. Uh, you know, you, you, okay, I'm going on 15 minutes right now. I, I think I said enough. Just spread the word, spread the message of this shit, and just get the shit out there, okay? I don't give a fuck if you, if, if you like me, if you dislike me, if you agree with me or disagree with me. I just want more people talking about this. Like, this problem right here. I don't want more people talking about double standards and just how we can demolish double, the, the double standards just entirely. There shouldn't be a set of standards for one and a set of standards for the other. Like, the whole... Then, like, I'm making a continuation of the previous rant is because it's still an ongoing issue. And, like, I don't make these rant times just... To, no. I don't make these rant times to get my chest and address problems. That's the whole reason I make these rants. I don't make it to make... I don't make these rants to make people laugh. I mean, how is this funny? <sighs> Okay, I said all I had to say at the, at, the, at the moment. There is no perfect words for this problem that's going on. Like, keep 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 watch my eye out for um the part two to this rant because that'll be coming pretty soon. I fucking assure you. You're you're, you're going to see a part two of this rant. So anyway, thank you for watching this. And, um, yeah. TJ Kirk, also known as the Amazing Atheist, has also done a video on double standards. Link will be in the description bar down below. Watch it if you haven't already. Because, like, why the fuck not? Uh, anyway, see you tomorrow for the finale of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Peace. And... Nerds, nerds, and gamers, game the fuck on.